What I've got for you today might be a challenge to understand and probably even more of a challenge to actually put into practice, but the blessing that comes with it is magnificent. I'm Mike Winger, and this is Wisdom in the Word, where we study the biblical art of wisdom. Proverbs 17, 14 says, The beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. Okay, let me take a moment to actually unpack the meaning of this verse. Releasing water refers to the idea of a dam breaking. What happens when the dam breaks, right? At first there's a crack, water begins to push through, that water pushes more of the dam away, and all of a sudden it's like an exponentially worse thing. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger until, whoo, big flood. Now that's the description of the beginning of strife. You and someone else having a hard time together, the emotions rise. As soon as those emotions come up, the feelings of hurt, the feelings that you're not being cared about or misunderstood or misrepresented, as soon as those feelings come up, that's the beginning of strife. And that moment, it goes from a trickle to a flood very quickly. It can be extremely hard to win back that person after they are hurt. So the topic here in Proverbs is to get on target the moment that it first went wrong and fix it right away. So how do you do this? You need to develop your own version of Spidey sense, right? This is like where Spider-Man, he, he senses dangers coming and the little squiggle marks go around his head and the old comic version of Spider-Man. And he's suddenly dodging or getting out of the way. He's just avoiding this thing he just somehow knows is coming. You've got to do this in relationships. So you notice the moment that their emotions are responding negatively to you, you notice also the moment your emotions are responding negatively to them. And what do you do? Once you've, once you've learned how to notice that moment, that's, the, that's probably the hardest part, just noticing it right away. Once you can notice this moment, you then employ Proverbs 17, 14, and you quit. That's what the last part of the verse says. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. The ESV puts it this way, quit. You're the one that stops. Like you just go, you know what? I'll stop contending with you. I'm going to just, I give up this fight. It's not worth the battle to lose you and your heart towards me in this discussion. I feel I'm elevated. I can see you're elevated, whatever it is. I'm just going to quit. So you, you don't tell them, you don't announce that you're quitting, right? You just give up, right? James says that wisdom that is from above is willing to yield. So you just give in. You're like, I just, I quit. I'm not going to fight this battle. It's not worth it. Some battles are worth fighting, but most of them are not. So scripture tells us the beginning of strife, that's like the releasing of water, man. You better stop it now or it will become a flood. Therefore, stop contention. Quit fighting before the quarrel starts. Find the moment and give up. That's the advice to you. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth.